is Mike Centers, and I run a company called Titus Maintenance Installation Services. And what you're looking at is a system that separates paper from containers, and we made it portable. And our, our point is, the objective is that we can move it from one material recovery facility to another and actually demonstrate how running their container line incoming through this system will increase their effectiveness, efficiency, and of course their return on investment. And we like to call it the port of sort. I think what, what we've learned, and we've been in business now for 10 years, and what we've learned when it comes to separating paper from containers is that you have to do a very effective presentation to the container sort line. If you have material under two inches, it cannot be sorted. If you have material that's too light, it affects the ability to sort containers. And a big problem in today's MRFs is too much paper on the container sort line. Well, in addition to sort by materials, we can also sort by color. That's very important for PET sorting, for example, where we can make the difference between clear PET, green, or umber. Because the fiber is getting so small, it, it t tends to get lost on the container line and ends up going out as residual. By adding this in the front end, you can pull the light fiber out and recover about four bales a day. Then, when you hit your optical sorter, your optical sorter is much more efficient and can actually separate the plastics much more effectively, reducing your labor. So there's a big labor increase and a big commodity increase in fiber. So in addition to be able to sort what I would call at the package level, so without having to grind a bottle or to shred it, we can also sort metals, we can also sort wood, we can also sort e-waste. So there's plenty of other applications than just sorting recyclables out of MERS. Well, you know, we've designed this machine so that it can work at a MRF at full capacity. So this runs at about four to five tons per hour. So we're very comparable to most container lines. And that way, a MRF operator can really see with his own material what return on investment he can make by installing this equipment.